you get up in the morning about 6.30, you're out on the 7.30 boat, you're collecting data. Between that time and the next dive, I will process those samples, so putting them in jars and ethanol and writing little labels and maybe look at them and then under the microscope if something weird is happening. And then uh, by that time I've done that, I'll maybe run and try and stuff a sandwich in my face and then run back and get on the next boat. You're back in the lab, then you're out on another boat, then you're back in, and you're, you're lucky if you can leave the lab before 8.30 or 9 in the evening. As there's impacts, human impacts, climate change, various things that are degrading coral reefs as we know them, the hard coral, stony corals that make up the, the reef structure, you go through this transition where there's hard coral and then there's soft coral and then there's sponges and then algae, so it's decreasing level of biodiversity. The Caribbean is a really interesting place to study this because it's mostly soft coral inhabited and so it's kind of a projection to the future of what a future impacted coral reef could be. If, if in fact we are losing all of this diversity in that you know, short amount of time, then we really need to be in kind of a panic mode to kind of figure out what is there, what are we losing? Like it's a bit, it depresses me to think that we lose diversity before we even discover it. Native fish don't recognise that the lionfish is a predator that's going to eat them. So one thing we've documented in Honduras is that these lionfish are not only affecting the shallow reefs and eating a lot of the, the native young juvenile fish, but they're actually spreading down into the mesophotic zone, so these deep twilight reefs. There's no predators really left in the Caribbean that eat lionfish. Most of the large grouper populations and shark populations in the Caribbean have been overfished. So we're chatting to several local partners who are involved in managing the marine protected areas to see if our deeper reef data can be used in the future to help them and help the, the local government understand and implement um, changes to the marine protected area system. We dive six days a week and we have one mandatory no dive day, which is usually spent. So it's a lot of hard work, but it's, it's great fun. I wouldn't swap it for anything.